Hello, this is Jeff Grady with the Florida Association of Insurance Agents with five important things agents need to know this week in our ongoing battle against the coronavirus. Number one, COVID-19 insured losses. A leading insurance brokerage and advisory firm, Willis Towers Watson, recently provided its estimate for general insurance losses due to COVID-19. The company projected a range based on optimistic, moderate, and severe scenarios, which yielded between 30 to 80 billion in losses within both the US and UK. The variation is largely based on the duration of the virus and its impact on the global economy. Willis Towers Watson's indicated that insured losses from COVID-19 will likely exceed those stemming from 9-11, increasing the possibility that some sort of government backstop will be needed to address future pandemic risk. Number two, will agency storefronts become a thing of the past? Working remotely has permanently changed the way that many independent agencies will operate in the future. Agency managers report increased productivity, more flexible working hours, and fewer operational obstacles than were originally anticipated. Challenges still remain with ensuring employees stay connected and don't feel isolated. Also, agency computer networks are more vulnerable to cyber attacks with more employees working remotely. All in all, however, these new working environments are proving to be cost effective by cutting down the need for commercial office space, employee commuting, parking hassles, and other overhead expenses normally associated with a commercial office setup. Number three, Florida's 440 licensees and their ability to continue to work remotely. The CFO's order allowing 440 license holders to work remotely is scheduled to expire on Friday, May 8th. As a result, FAI sent a letter to the Department of Financial Services and CFO Jimmy Petronas last week requesting an extension of the order due to the uncertainty surrounding reopening Florida's economy. We received a very prompt reply from DFS that indicated agreement with many of the points raised in FAI's letter and feel confident our request will be favorably considered. Be assured, your association will advise agents when any further action is taken. Number four, speaking of agent licensing, some state approved testing centers are now starting to reopen on a limited basis to administer agent licensing exams. Still, there are applicants who are unable to be tested for a variety of reasons and in some cases can apply for a temporary license. As a result of the CFO's directive 2020-07, a temporary resident license can be obtained for six months for the following lines, variable annuity contracts T214, health T240, and personal lines T2044. For more information, please visit the FAI website. And number five, sad news, FAI's convention cancellation. FAI's 2020 annual convention scheduled for June 10th through the 12th has officially been canceled due to health safety concerns and the inability to conduct a viable meeting with so few agents and exhibitors attending. Last week, FAI conducted a survey that indicated less than 50% of those still registered would be attending, no matter the status of Florida's reopening plan. Discussions are still ongoing to determine if an alternative meeting could be held in the late summer or early fall, and FAI will keep members apprised of these developments. Thanks and stay safe out there.